In our next series, we're going to be going through the life cycle of a monarch caterpillar and its transformation from being a monarch caterpillar to becoming the butterfly that we all know and love. Let's start with some basics. So the species name of the monarch butterfly is actually called the Danis plexippus. And as you'll see as we go through these lessons, what they're describing is the sleepy transformation of the monarch caterpillar to becoming the monarch butterfly. Their lifespan is really anywhere from two to six weeks as a butterfly, although the last generation of the season will go and migrate down to a warmer climate so that it can survive the winter months. And that particular generation can survive for up to eight to nine months. They don't fly very fast, anywhere from about four to 12 miles per hour. They can only survive eating one type of plant. Could you imagine that, only being able to eat one type of food for your entire life? Well, that's what the caterpillars have to do, and all they can eat is the milkweed plant. As part of this series of lessons, we're going to be taking you through the individual phases of the life cycle, from the initial egg that is laid by the butterfly onto the milkweed plant. Once the caterpillar hatches from the eggs, it goes through five phases of growth or instars. In this image you see here, in the very upper corner of the leaf on top, you can actually see the relative size of the egg. Just below that, you can see the caterpillar just as it's hatched. In the lower leaf, you see the caterpillar in the second instar phase, then in the third right next to that, the fourth is above back on that top leaf, and then below you finally see the caterpillar in its last phase which is called the fifth instar. From the fifth instar they then form a chrysalis so that they can be begin the transformation to become a butterfly. And then it is in that chrysalis that they then transform from being a caterpillar to emerging as a butterfly, like you see here in this image. So we'll go through in more detail each of these phases and what they mean, and we'll walk you through our butterfly garden here at Stems Grow so that you can learn how to build a butterfly garden of your own. Before we sign off, my daughter has a fun game for everyone. Hello. This is a picture taken from my butterfly garden this morning. Can you find the caterpillar egg? Here's a hint, it is really small. Here it is. Thank you. I hope you will like the series and please feel free to comment below with any questions that we can answer. Thank you.